Irving police think a man killed in a shootout with police in Oklahoma is also the man who they've wanted for a violent gas station robbery. Surveillance video from Irving shows the robbery in progress. An armed man stole the clerk's SUV. That stolen SUV turned up in Oklahoma, where a bank robber killed one person, shot another, and used a hostage as a human shield to try to get away. Fox 4's Deanna Zoga is in Irving. Is the latest on really both ends of this case, Deanna. Yeah, both ends and really how this came together was pieced together here this week. Steve, as you said earlier this week, a man robbed this Shell gas station here behind me, beat up the clerk, stole the clerk's SUV. That's the same SUV used in the bank robbery in Oklahoma. Now investigators are working to confirm that the man killed in a shootout with police there is the same man seen on surveillance video here attacking a store clerk. Carrying a plastic sack in one hand, a gun in the other. A man strolls into this gas station on East Grawweiler Road in Irving and confronts the 53-year-old clerk who is alone inside. Our suspect produced a handgun and made a demand for the victim's car keys uh, right there. Our victim refused and, and tried to get him to leave the store, uh, but then from that point there was a small physical uh, confrontation. The robber walks behind the counter, and even though he appears to have a gun in his hand, he grabs a metal bat and beats the clerk. The video is edited to protect the victim's identity and because parts of it are too graphic to show. The robber spends a whole five minutes in the store before leaving with the clerk's white SUV parked out front. There was gunfire exchanged. And two days and 200 miles later, a man walks into a bank in Eufaula, Oklahoma. Within seconds, he shoots and kills the bank president. He shoots a teller, then takes a customer hostage, leading Oklahoma law enforcement on a chase that ended in a shootout, critically injuring the woman being used as a human shield and killing the robber. He was driving the same white SUV stolen from the clerk in Irving. And that was the Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation calling saying they had recovered the vehicle after that, that shootout. Irving police say they are close to confirming the man Oklahoma authorities identified as 39-year-old Cedric Lamont Norris also committed the robbery in North Texas and are working to figure out where else the robber turned killer may have been. If, if, uh, if what happened here uh, was just the beginning of a crime spree that ultimately escalated to you know, a greater level of violence throughout a sequence of events, uh, you know, there, there may be multiple offenses out there that, again, are maybe progressively getting more and more dangerous. And Cedric Norris is from Texas. He does have ties to North Texas in particular. Police here tell us that he's had contact with law enforcement across the DFW area. As for the clerk, he will be okay. One of the owners here at the Shell gas station tells me that the clerk spent about two days in the hospital, had to have some stitches, but is now recovering at home. That clerk is a married father of two school-aged children, likely Steve, wondering how he was spared when so many up north were not. Back to you. All right, Diana Zoga, live tonight in Irving. Thank you.